Good morning. <laughs> Today I think we're gonna get up pretty quick here. Maybe make some coffee. Maybe not. Uh, we're gonna go over the Great Basin National Park. It's pretty comfortable in the van tonight. I have no idea what the temperature was last night or today because we don't have any cell service and we haven't had cell service for almost two days, which is really, really nice. <laughs> And inside the van, we've got our nifty little insulator things, which <coughs> actually do help keep a little bit of heat in. And I'm supposed to get coffee going, but I did not do that. We're out here in the mountains in Nevada, cooking up some coffee. Julia's in there, cleaning up the van. This is our campsite from last night. It's pretty nice. We've got the toilets over there, tables, there's all different shelters here that you can park under. Jake is the best husband and he always goes outside to do the outside stuff. Jake makes the coffee and he gets the stove going to make the hot food too. Which makes him very nice. But today, I'm going to help him grind coffee beans. We've got a new can of coffee to try today. We bought two of these. We bought the same brand, but we bought a medium roast. <clears throat> and we bought a dark roast. And we've been drinking the dark roast, but I guess today we're gonna try the medium roast. We just pour it in our little coffee grinder here. We put our little lid on. And our little knob, our little turn knob, and we just grind. Beautiful. Yeah? We're snowshoeing on dirt, but uh, we have been snowshoeing on snow. And we were looking at some caves. Not going in them. But it's beautiful right here. A lot of pine trees. We're in the desert. Some pictographs on the caves from uh, Native Americans. It's pretty cool. This is a limestone cave and it is full of cracks and fissures between it and the surface. As water comes down from the surface, it picks up calcium and becomes slightly acidic, which creates the many beautiful things that you see in the cave. These include soda straws, which are hollow tubes that have water drip down and bubble on the end, depositing a layer of minerals, which then causes the soda straw to grow. They grow about an inch every century. So, but, so what are they, they are the plates. They are the mm -hmm. two parallel plates growing side by side on the ground. Here, are, this is another huge plate right here. And if you look at the side of that one, you do see the medial, the spaces. Oh yeah. Can you see that? Yeah. You can see the crack between the two plates and then all the stalactites and draperies that formed out of the, the plates. What we call an extremophile bacteria. It can live in extreme conditions, like total darkness. We're not really sure what it's doing down here. Also, the white stuff probably also has some bacterial stuff in it, but it's, it's calcite. It's called moon milk. Mm -hmm. And some of those early partiers figured out if you scraped it out and ate it, it would cure your sour stomach. We just are leaving Great Basin National Park. It was pretty amazing. The whole bit, the whole park is pretty amazing. It's beautiful. We had almost the whole park to ourselves today. There's hardly anybody there. And we started with a little hike that the ranger had recommended to us where we kind of hike. We used our snowshoes and we snowshoed down into this really cool canyon and we, it was just beautiful. It was along a creek and 
we could see some petroglyphs in some cave entrances and just really neat stuff. And so we did that this morning and we came back and we had a cave tour at one and that was amazing. We really didn't know what to expect really because we've been in other caves. I mean, we've been to Mammoth Cave National Park, we've been to some caves back home. They're not all the same. They're not all the same. And there was only five people, including us, on our tour. So it was a really small tour, which was really nice. And we we kind of went in, and it just it was absolutely breathtaking. It turns out we're t so we're taking Highway 50 or Interstate 50, it's Highway 50, I think. And apparently, it's known as America's loneliest road. Yep. So we'll it's because there's nothing on it except the distillery like 300 miles away from here yeah yeah well we found out that there is actually nothing in nevada we like asked the rangers at the station we were like is there anywhere that we could stop yeah, like you know what they said uh... <laughs> <laughs> they said there was nothing but that's okay because it's a beautiful state we're it like is. there's mountains all over and little pine trees and stuff and it doesn't sound that cool but it is cool A lot of good radio stations out here in Nevada. We're on the way to our campsite tonight. We stopped on a little pull off on the side of the road here to check out the beautiful sunset and to warm up some lentil soup that Julia made. It's beautiful. We're up on top of a ridge. We've got probably another hour and a half of driving until we go to our spot. And we're just enjoying the evening. 